Welcome back guys. Today we're heading off to YYC Driven. It's the biggest car show. We were there last year. It was actually our first time last year. And again, we're gonna go this year, go check out. Locals are there, you got Birdie and the Lost Royalty crew. You got everyone, so we're gonna go check out some cars. We've got everyone here today. We've got David, Connor, Adrian, and Taylor. So we'll see you guys there. Yo, and we finally made it here, and this is our first entrance. There's even more cars than this year, actually. If you look, every time you enter, you just get blown away by the amount of cars. Look at all those cars. So we'll probably end up doing a walk, and then I'll do a walk with um, just making some edits, so watch out for that. We'll probably head down and we'll go check out some of the cars. We found ourselves some pretty Subarus. We found a Pro Drive, and then this very sparkly um, 08 hatch that's wide body. And Adrian just pointed out, we're all lo looking at the nice pretty Subarus, and right across there's an R8 that we haven't even paid attention to. <laughs> you, you know what cars we like. <laughs> but look at the wrap. You guys have probably honestly seen this car on Instagram before, because I know I have. <laughs> yeah, it is such a pretty car. I kind of want to wrap my car like this, but like a purple it would be awesome. That's the snail I need in my car. That's a big boy dribble. <laughs> there's David, what? and there's a Suzuki <laughs> Cappuccino. <laughs> Look how small it is. <laughs> it goes up to David's knees. It's even smaller than a Miata. Yeah. And here's the engine for the, the cappuccino. The display, the Look at that, that's engine. intercooler piping. And that is the awesome. intercooler. You can't even see it, but it's probably only about that big. Which, it makes sense, it's only three cylinders, 660 How cc's. Here's a really well-known Subaru in Chestamere, or er, in Calgary, and look at that functional arrow. Like, that is real arrow right there. It's a pretty much a full attack car. Look at that, that is an 04 STI, guys. And it's a little bit nicer than mine, I'd have to say. The interior is clean, look at that. It's on air and it's got carbon fenders. And there's the turbo. I bet you could fit like four of my turbos inside of that single turbo. We found another Subaru and look at the massive turbo on this one. It's crazy. It's got all the works, guys. It's got like, yeah, AC delete. It's fully shaved and tucked in the bay. New radium fuel kit, which is like two grand setup. Aero and everything. So me and Adrian have been talking about building aero for our cars recently. And this is one that has a kind of custom aero, and this is similar to what we would do. So it's got like two pieces, one for the exhaust area and one for the other side. And then it kind of brings it down and has some fins stretching up here. And the aero we would build would be functional. This car has actually been here multiple times, but they just registered it in Manitoba, and it is clean. Like, the paint is prime. This is like the perfect definition of a perfect Subaru. Like, I can't think of much else. They've got like that half cage, the racing seats, and everything. It's just like the perfect definition of perfect Subaru. It'd be awesome on the track. As you can probably tell, it is extremely loud in here, and it's really hard to record on the floor, so I didn't get a lot of footage. But now we're gonna go check it out, record some cinematics for you guys, and this time this edit's only gonna be five minutes instead of like the 12 minute edit last year. So, see you guys on the other side.
There we go, the end of the Driven Show. What did you think, Adrian? It was awesome. It was awesome. They had more cars than last year. Lots Way more GTRs. cars. Yeah, and there was definitely pl <laughs> plenty. The year before, there was a lot of 240s. This year, there's a lot of the new GTRs, not a lot of old GTRs. There's only three R34s. But it's still an amazing show, some awesome cars. And next year, my goal is to be in Driven. Project Daily is gonna be in Driven next year. That is the plan. So we got a lot of work and his car, if it's A lot of works. work, you have to do one scrap on your fender. <laughs> no, I have so much work. But we're not gonna stay for the rollout because the rollout has still got three or four hours left. So we're gonna head off to a detailing place and then get some dinner. So that's a quick way to spend a couple hundred dollars, but as you guys can see, that is an awesome place. That's where I grab all my detailing stuff in Calgary. And if you're in Calgary, definitely check it out. So it's carzilla.ca. And it's just a little tiny shop, but it's jam packed with detailing stuff. Every time I go in there, there's stuff that I want that I don't really need, but I end up grabbing. We just have to grab those couple things to get the car ready for the cleaning I'm gonna do and a couple videos that I'll be producing very quickly about some detailing tips that I have for you guys because I know you guys have been asking for them. But anyways, now we're gonna go grab some food, so see you guys there. I didn't grab as much cinematic footage as I would have liked. There was so, so many cars. I could have done a video on each and every one of those cars, but I only grabbed it on some of the few that really popped out to me. And then I started talking to a lot of you guys that came up and said hi. That was awesome. Thank you guys for doing that. If you did recognize me during the show, that was pretty cool. But I did talk to you guys, so I didn't get a crazy amount of footage like I did last time of the cars. But hopefully this video becomes pretty well-rounded with a little bit of vlog, a little bit of cinematics, and a little bit of this, that, and the other thing. But until next video, peace out and stay humble. Oh!